gyroscopic effect is everywhere. From the Hubble Space Telescope, to guiding missiles, from riding a bike, to navigating submarines. Gyroscope and gyroscopic effects are one of the most fascinating physics phenomenon. A gyroscope is a device which can maintain orientation and are used mainly in inertial guidance and in navigation systems. But, the gyroscopic effect is a common physical effect which can be observed in all spinning objects. To understand the gyroscopic effect, we should understand angular momentum. Any spinning object, be it the spinning galaxy, a person or a rotating aircraft engine blades, all have one thing in common, the angular momentum. Consider a rotating wheel. The wheel has angular momentum. The angular momentum is given by the product of moment of inertia of the body, about the spinning axis and the angular velocity of the body. Angular momentum is a vector. The direction of the angular momentum is given by the right-hand thumb rule. When the fingers are curled in the direction of rotation, the thumb points in the direction of the angular momentum. The right-hand thumb rule can also be applied to find the direction of the torque which is applied on a spinning body. Angular momentum has an interesting property. The direction of the angular momentum can be changed only by applying an external torque to the spinning body. This is based on the Newton's law. A gyroscope used in inertial guidance system make use of this property of the angular momentum. Gyroscope consists of three gimbals as shown here. In the center, we have the spinning disc. The spinning disc is mounted on the innermost gimbal. The spinning disc is mounted in such a way that no external torque can be applied on the disc. So, once the disc started spinning, it will have the angular momentum pointing in a particular direction. Since no external torque can be applied on the disc, angular momentum and the axis of the spinning disc always point in the same direction even when the external gimbals move and rotate. Thus, this axis acts as a reference and helps in guidance. This type of inertial guidance system is used in missile systems, in Hubble Space Telescope, and even in submarines. Where, using other types of guidance system is difficult. Now we understand how to determine the direction of the torque and angular momentum. Let us jump into the understanding of the gyroscopic effect. For understanding gyroscopic effect, we consider an aircraft with a rotating propeller. Here the propeller is rotating with angular velocity omega. So, the angular momentum is given by the product of moment of inertia of the propeller and omega. If we consider the propeller to rotate clockwise when viewed from front, then the angular momentum vector is given by the right-hand thumb rule. When the pilot tries to turn the plane right, the pilot applies a torque, turning the plane right. This torque direction is also given by the right-hand thumb rule. Now, what will happen during this turning? The angular momentum vector always tries to chase and align with the applied torque vector. Hmm, interesting. So, what will happen because of this? This moment generated will move the aircraft nose up and the tail down. This anti-clockwise moment generated during the turning of the aircraft is the gyroscopic reaction moment or reaction torque. This effect is called the gyroscopic effect. The magnitude or values of this gyroscopic moment can be calculated using a simple expression. The gyroscopic moment is the product of moment of inertia of the propeller, angular velocity of the propeller, and the precession angular velocity. The precession angular velocity is nothing but the angular velocity with which the pilot was trying to turn the aircraft. Remember, the gyroscopic effect happens immediately during the turn itself. That is, when the aircraft is turning right, it also moves the nose up and the tail down at the same time. So, this gyroscopic effect must be taken into account during turning of the aircraft. Instead, if the aircraft is turned left, the opposite will happen. 
Now, the gyroscopic moment generated will move the nose down and the tail up, which is called pitch down moment in the language of aerodynamics. The gyroscopic effect is dominant in ships with large rotating propellers. When the ship is turned towards left or right, gyroscopic effects will be observed. Similarly, when we are riding a motorcycle and turn left or right, we automatically lean towards the left or right. This is caused by the gyroscopic effect and the gyroscopic moment. Gyroscopic effects are very non-intuitive, sometimes it looks like magic. But it is pure physics.